everybody. It is Saturday afternoon. We're just sort of hanging out and getting some stuff done. Saturday is my grown-up day often, but uh, today I went to see the KW Poetry Slam Poetry Workshop. And by see, I mean participate in. I did not bring the camera, uh, so there is no video or pictures of it on account of the, po the, the, the workshop was about uh, vulnerability and ferocity in poetry. And if you have a whole room full of people who are there to be vulnerable, it doesn't make a lot of sense to bring a camera. Especially when you're one of them. And I was, and it was a really good time. It got me thinking about vulnerability. It's, it's also National Poetry Month, so I am hoping to conjure some poetry out of this month, out of these vlogs, but at the same time, I am super self-conscious about it. So, we'll see. But... Fingers crossed that by the end we will have poetry. Also, at some point it will be my birthday. So there's that. Anyway, vulnerability in poetry. Being vulnerable on stage is awesome. We didn't really talk about it during the public speaking podcast, but it is the best way to take your audience on a journey with you. Is to invite them to see... You know, the parts of you that you don't often let other people see. I mean, it goes back to your cool Batman stuff. And Nerdfest and Safe Space. And, and, and all of that ties together in, into um, the safety to feel vulnerable and to be vulnerable to people. And it's super good. It's really weird because we don't write a lot of songs where we are vulnerable. We write songs about stuff that we like. Uh, like comic books and... You know, dork things. Uh, we write songs about things that are really cool, like space. I uh, write the odd love song, because Kaylee and I are hopeless romantics and love love, love song, and we love love songs. We don't love rub songs, because I don't know what a rub song is. But when I figure it out, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anyway. We write songs that make people laugh. We don't write a lot of songs that make people feel or make people cry. And those songs are good. I mean, there, there's nothing that says you gotta only write happy songs. And don't you, you won't be able to find me a musician who only knows how to write happy songs. I think it's more that our stronger songs, we are more reluctant to share. Um, both out, like outside of us, and especially out on the YouTubes. Because... It is scary and big when real feelings get involved. But at the same time, that's when things sort of get great. It's when real feelings get involved. It's hilarious. I spend so much time trying to get people to have real feelings about fictional characters and Dungeons and Dragons and fiction and stuff like that. That I have, a, But I'm like, no, 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 no. I can't just write a song with feelings in it. No, 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 no. We'll see about getting uh, one of those done for a Music Friday this month. Because part of Vita is taking on that challenge and doing things that I am self-conscious about. And doing things that make me vulnerable. I mean, I like that. I can see you. And you can see me. And here I am. This isn't television. I mean, it kind of is. But it's more like street performing than television. So I will see you guys later, tomorrow, with the podcast. We have Jackie on, and it's going to be rad. It's a pyramid scheme. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's like, join the Fabulous Five, and oh, we'll make God, you a knight. And then you can draw more knights into our fellowship. That, that's what the five is about. You get you get five knights under you. Yeah. And each of them then gets five knights into them. So that's why this guy was going on so much without telling us what he was doing. I'm good. Suddenly this is amazing. Can we kill him? Oh god, I hope so, because I'm about to try. I should maybe save. <laughs> hey, that hurt. Be more careful, would you? How do I get... I, want, I would like to get out of this dialogue. Have okay. you been possessed by a sorcerer? Aim your weapons somewhere else. Oh yeah! <gasps>
have just murdered him. I was gonna drop him off the edge of the world, but you just murdered him. <laughs>